Now to campaign 2020 and night one of a very different Democratic National Convention. Former First Lady Michelle Obama headlining a mostly virtual gathering leading up to Joe Biden's nomination on Thursday. CBS 4's Natalie Brand is covering the convention for us this week. She is live tonight in Washington. Natalie? Elliot, the former first lady gave a very powerful and passionate final speech that capped off around two hours of evening DNC coverage on this night one. And actress Eva Longoria served as the MC of sorts, basically tossing to participants nationwide from a farmer to a nurse to some of these key headlining speakers who had recorded speeches. Key themes of the night included the coronavirus pandemic, racial justice. There was a moment of silence held for George Floyd, led by his family, and also another key theme, unity. We, the, we, we, the, people. we the people of the United States. We the people call the 48th Quadrennial Democratic National Convention to order. With that, the Democratic National Convention kicked off with headliners including Senator Bernie Sanders and former First Lady Michelle Obama. I know Joe. But more importantly, Joe knows us. Other speakers highlighted why they believe Joe Biden is the best choice to lead the country through challenges of the coronavirus. Our current federal government is dysfunctional and incompetent. It couldn't fight off the virus. In fact, it didn't even see it coming. And racial injustice. We must always find ourselves in what John Lewis called good trouble. Night one was also designed to showcase support across the political spectrum for Republicans, including former Ohio governor and 2016 presidential candidate John Kasich are lending their support to Biden. Many of us can't imagine four more years going down this path. And that's why I'm asking you to join with me in choosing a better way forward. Former Trump administration official Miles Taylor endorsed Biden and bashed the president in a new campaign ad released by the group Republican Voters Against Trump. The president was ill-equipped and wouldn't become equipped to do his job effectively. The White House called Taylor a creature of the D.C. swamp. Earlier, President Trump took a swipe at Democrats during a trip to Wisconsin, where the Democratic National Convention was supposed to be held in person. They talk about a convention. How do you watch a tape speech? The president plans to visit more swing states this week. His Democratic challenger will formally accept the nomination from Delaware on Thursday. Now back to the former first lady's speech. She said she referenced some of her famous comments from 2016, saying that many have asked her, when others are going so low, does going high still really work? Her answer, going high is the only thing that works, but it does not mean putting on a smile when confronted by cruelty. Now, tomorrow on day two of the convention, one of the themes is leadership. There will be a keynote address by around 17 leaders dubbed rising stars by the Democratic Party. And that includes F Florida's Commissioner of Agriculture, Nikki Fried. She will be among those speakers tomorrow. There will also be a virtual roll call across all the states and territories. Elliot. Natalie Brand covering the Democratic National Convention for us. Natalie, thank you very much.